So I got every stock that I needed to get done today, which is great. Went to the dollar store, I got some toothpaste, some extra pens, some socks, some extra little zip up organizers because there's a Ziploc bag that I've used for mostly my tech stuff and it's just getting annoying and it's getting ripped and all that stuff. So I should go over just self checklist just to make sure. Got everything I think I did, but any hazels. I'm here early, so that's good. Thought I could find some lunch of what I was looking for at the dollar store. Or no, at the grocery store. Reasons where I got the Starbucks. There's the Starbucks. I probably will stop at our grocery store back home to go munch. I mean, I could have taken the last piece of pizza that we had, um, like frozen. My dad could have that, plus it gives me whatever is in the sauce just makes my face really red. There's a very nice Ferrari, I'm assuming, next door. Next, yeah, parking space over. But yeah, so it's 10.30. I will get up there shortly to do all the fun things that I have to do monthly or whenever I see my doctor. So I got a, a new macadamia chocolate cold brew, I think, of some sort. I didn't spend as much money to go around, which is great. I bought a plastic th three drawer bin for papers and stuff in my closet to space back drawer shelves that I have in there. Because there's a spot that underneath those wired shelves I have that are really getting unused. I'm trying to figure stuff there. Not much else going on besides this and then waiting to see how much time I have after to either get food here, like fast food and stuff, or go straight home to a doctor's office or straight back to where I live and then uh, till work. I don't know what I'm gonna do tonight. I have another vlog, a weekly vlog edited. I'm still working to upload, sorry, for me to upload. And then I have currently, finally got all the imported footage from the uh, weekend vlog that I finished. So I'm um, starting to edit that. And this one, obviously I'm starting. So we're getting there because I need more time to film, film videos and edit. So I'm gonna try and give, um, while I'm sweating through this, I might take this jacket off. Hey guys, ignore all the Cheetos and chips up there. My closet is still a mess, but I finally took my medication for my ADHD uh, two hours ago, roughly. We'll see about what happens during the afternoon. So technically today is day one of the medication day uh, of funness. I took with the medication because to cut back the nausea that every medication gives you. You eat a meal or food with it. So that's what I did. I had toast with cheese Whiz, orange juice, water, obviously. And then I also at the same time took an omega-3 fish oil supplement and my, the vitamin D3 supplement. So that's what I did for this morning to cut back on dizziness, cut back on a lot of things. So still gonna keep hydrated is my plan with water. I'm gonna have some tea things like that. I'll probably take some turmeric tea later tonight. I didn't last night because I was so tired once I got home from work. I just was too tired to drink it. I just want to go to bed and just sleep. I kind of just, well, relax and then go to sleep after any situation that I want to fit in this space. It's going to fit. It's just, I don't know what to do there. Possibly get another one or something smaller. We will see. Because I just have a lot of things back here. Like, I have shelves, right? But um, most of my shelves are taken up by bins, obviously. And everything like that. So I don't know what to do with it. I'm still organizing. I haven't touched the closet in a little bit. Just because of how I've been feeling. And low motivation. Exhaustion, that kind of thing. And apparently, the med definitely works. Because I was sleepy this morning when I woke up. And then when I took my med work and I thought, oh, I'm going to get sleepy. Slowly started working and I started to have laser focus. So I went to the car and grabbed this out of my trunk and a bag of stuff that I bought yesterday from Walmart. The other one I brought in last night. Uh, so from the dollar store in Dollarama here in Canada and just starting to organize. I'm able to find things that I need because I'm trying to find a solution for my CPAP supplies and whatnot, as well as other things. I'm thinking of using this for cords and stuff. It, it just, you know, so 
Uh, we'll see. I was gonna use it for batteries too, because I'm gonna get rid of my stupid old one I got for Christmas one year. Thinking, oh, that'd be great. So far, I've been feeling awake, no nausea, no dizziness yet. I'm trying not to think about those symptoms because I know when I took like, muscle relaxer and another like anxiety, depression type medication a couple of years ago, I got those symptoms when I was overly thinking about it. So I'm gonna be positive. And I think about that because I'm so lucky I have today off completely. So I'm able to let day one get over, have day one and get over with it, over and done with or before I go back to work tomorrow and then to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and all those things. Um, so I should be able to finish the week off quite well. Oh, we can move these. Oh, this. Okay. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. I'll just put that there now. Didn't realize you can move dividers which is nice so there's room i might actually stuff this one with this one i'm not totally sure yet and eddie's kind of being annoying that's okay with me so he wants up on my shelves but there's not really, really no room i'm gonna do a quick load of one quick load um, i do have laundry but i did buy socks at the dollar store because they're cheaper i'll test them out and see how long they last but trying to organize everything is so fun oh and i can upload the vlog i can do a lot of things today Hopefully I'll just maybe drink a little bit of coffee today. Later. Those are done. I'm off my to-do list to put away for now. I don't have any, oh, I do have some cords, but that's okay. <sighs> Even though my headphones currently, the AirPods, AirPod Pro, AirPod, AirPods, um, the small, I have a chargeable ones. They are not USB-C and I know they're slowly changing that all over so for that kind of thing because they have this connection right and then that's the USB-C and I was like why did you go get an 15 Pro Max if your other your 13 was working perfectly fine I think it was a 13 but I'm like for me I like to have every all the cords the same so i don't have to worry about changing cords often bringing cords with me I have one um, cord for every device and the camera on this phone is incredibly exceptionally well even though some people think it's crappy but for me it works as the 13 camera is working as pretty well as well it helps me I was able to take some great photos at the Jonas Brothers concert and that's what I was wanting same with the cruise vacation but other than that, that's kind of what's going on right now. I don't really much talk about, it's like, I try to put light cords with like cords and miscellaneous cords with miscellaneous. And my plan is hard to do. I have the house to myself today, which is really great um, because I'm able to get some stuff done. And there's so many freaking cords, you know? It's really ridiculous. I mean, it's nice in case one breaks, all the things, but. It's Saturday, June 8th, and hopefully with this week I can actually get the symptoms leave and everything done for the rheumatologist appointment. I just sent one last one email to my ex-friend because I never really wanted to stop being friends with her. It's just because with everything going on with me mentally, just life has been draining for me and I just wanted time away to, to get my energy back and everything like that so i have energy you know what i mean it's working as i wanted so it's perfect in terms of cord organization so i can find all my cords because obviously um, i put them in here in other places and in places to find them probably after doing this for a little bit i'll go upstairs well i'll grab some food to eat for lunch and then i'll just have leftover shepherd's pie for dinner and whatnot um, I'll hopefully kind of shower and stuff tonight as usual. I might stop at the gas station and stuff to get some orange juice, things like that, just to keep doing that. But are there any other cords I need? Don't think. Kind of wish, like when the cords don't have to be attached to these things. In terms of like, for example, the essential oil diffuser. You know what I mean? What can you do? Ooh. Is that gonna work? I don't know if that'll work. <laughs> it's a little too bulky when you do that though. But I think I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. Don't know. We'll test it out and see if we can close it. Maybe not now. Oh no, you can't. So that one doesn't work in there. Perfect. 
Okay, then a little space under that. Perfect. I'm happy. Everything going on. So I think that's it for now. I'm going to... I do like making these videos because I'm... I feel like wanting to be myself no matter... All right. So obviously, I finished my closet. It's not completely done. It is what it is for now. I did laundry. put away the laundry. I cleaned up our kitchen. I cleaned up the kitchen. Started the dishwasher. I uploaded a vlog. Editing currently another one. Which I'm trying to get done for the end of June. And then obviously this one. And edit. And I gotta get other stuff done, obviously, for the, my rheumatologist appointment. I'm surprised that my body's adjusting really well with medication, even though it's day one. So I was expecting to be more sleepier, like right now, the afternoon. And all that jazz, but I still have some energy. I drank some chamomile tea with a bit of milk, splash of milk, whatever you want to call it, to get me through the, the afternoon, I guess. Drinking another Pepsi early and then stopping anything caffeine related for the rest of the night uh soon i probably will go downstairs and do stuff on my computer before bedtime because i'm gonna shower and then obviously get ready for bed oh and i was kind of yeah that reminds me i haven't forgotten to do really anything or pushed it procrastinated it or what have you i recorded pre-recorded the first game of the stanley cup final yeah the panthers versus our lovely edmonton oilers in case my dad doesn't come home on time, which I don't think they will. Uh, might catch the tail end of the game, maybe. So that's ready for him. Thankfully, our video on demand system on the TV finally got fixed. I first thought it was like just an internet issue or, but we left it for a bit apparently, uh, and it was fixed. It's tell us they might have had issues. Many other customers had issues, I'm not sure. So that's the plan for the rest of the evening. Finish figuring out what's for lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to bring still tea. Caffeine kind of free tea for now. And I think I need to start doing that as well to cut back my caffeine usage. We'll see how the day goes. Rest. Today is Saturday, June 8th. Tomorrow is Sunday, June 9th. So much fun. And then I'll import this footage, edit as well. Hey guys, sorry for just showing this. I'm not showing, but I'm just doing this fill in numbers till I am able to close that work. It's been crazy busy today. Very busy, like run off my feet busy. I haven't had that in quite a while. My doctor gave me some, some medication for ADHD. He just but it's mainly for like depression and things like that but it helps adhd as well and apparently other uses as well and what i read for smoking which is interesting but anyway i'm nervous to try it i shouldn't be i'm trying not to like like i've all after or when i've had time i've read up uh, but other people are saying i don't want to be dizzy because i already had that experience with other medication if it was the medication that was like a couple years ago when i felt and became unconscious, so that's fun. Now that we'll see if it is, if medication helps me, I have the loops earplugs to help me as well in situations um, to see if I can stay focused and not get distracted and listen and do all the things because I feel like I've gotten worse. My mom says, and like I told her about what my doctor said, and she's like, "Do you really need? Do you need the medication?" And I was like, or she's like, "Do you need it?" And I was like. Yes, it's none of her business of why, but from us kind of doing the sheet together a month ago, uh, they can kind of see that I definitely need it. So, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been bad. Anyway, so that's what's going on. I picked up that prescription today as well as other Epirus prescription, even though I didn't use the other one, but that's okay have extras for the next two months because my doctor is going away. That's fine. Uh, I'm trying not to, I think it was stupid of me to overthink and over read people's reviews in terms of symptoms, from symptoms in terms of sleepiness and exhaustion or sleepiness, drowsiness, nausea, vomiting, all those things on top of the dizziness. So 
of what the medication side effects are going to be. So maybe this medication will be different. We'll see if it goes well. We will up the doses. Dosage. Anyway, I don't want to be out here for too long. Uh, so I'm just going to take it tomorrow because I have all day off tomorrow. He says it's recommended to take it in the morning. I think if by a week it doesn't get better in the morning, like the dizziness and sleepiness, I will message my doctor. They look at and be like, hey, like, I'm not doing anything for me. It's getting bad when I can't function, you know, uh, and hopefully it gets better. I mean, technically, I can take a little nap if need be before work on Monday. And I'm trying to, I'm going to try to take certain things to help me. I'm going to try and stay hydrated for sure because I think that's what the last time when I tried anxiety meds, I think that was what it was, was or the muscle relaxer, uh, or both, I can't remember, for the dizziness and things like that. Uh, I'll drink more tea throughout the day, less caffeine, aka Pepsi, because I have one to two a day on top of coffee in the morning, so I will, I think I'm also a tea in the morning with breakfast and things like that while I take my medication. Right time helps, which doesn't help. <sighs> and apparently it also causes insomnia, but I have sleep apnea, so we'll see. I'm nervous, I'm not nervous, I'm nervous, because all medications have the similar side effects. So it's not shocking, but... I think I was just chilling on me at the moment. Yes, he was when I was brushing my hair, so... My sleep was good, thankfully. I pretty much... Oh, passed out quite quickly almost considering even with my CPAP machine and the medication I'm taking uh, so that's good I almost slept close to work this morning all in all that's that's okay I slept with the loops earplugs in a jar these ones and then the quiet twos and I obviously took my medication took magnesium around three this afternoon when I was eating dinner. And then, no, it was dinner because I took the last omega-3 earlier in the day. My sleep score wasn't 100% yet. When it was, I'm not sure. It was, it was like 80. And then my sleep, I don't know, that was my, I don't know. Anyway, so it's not bad. I'm happy. We'll see how today goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some orange juice today. And maybe for tomorrow, from the grocery store or gas station uh, to help with medication. Actually, only today, because I only uh, don't need the oranges until I can still take it at home tomorrow. To grab maybe some for, I guess, uh, Tuesday. I have in the fridge for breakfast time, because when I get to work, that's when I'll be taking the medication. And I don't know, I'm still in that weird phase right now. Like, I was on a high right after my doctor's appointment because I was like, I knew I had ADHD and I knew he was gonna, not really knew, but I was hoping he'd give some answers. But he just browsed through it, didn't really ask me too many questions because I think he's not really knowledgeable in it with ADHD, obviously, which makes sense. So I wasn't gonna, but he suggested medication, obviously, so I'm on that. And as of yesterday, but I'm going to eventually save money to see a psychiatrist or someone who's knowledgeable in that field to get an assessment just to make sure you know if I'm combined or inattentive or hyper both um so combined uh ADHD combined which is weird but anyway all right what time is it okay but the mommy has to get up let's go I'm on I know what's up guys so it is about 8 40 in the evening I just finished drinking some lovely tea, Earl Grey, out of this mug, uh, which is the uh, from, uh, the male twins. And then, I, well, I journaled, then drank tea and read my book, or the book that I'm currently reading. I went through um, my cash binder and moved some cash into the seeking, my sinking funds. At the moment, this is all of my sinking funds funds, savings, uh, envelopes that I want right now. It's touch and go. So that's fun. It's like hard to not use a debit card, to be honest, for stuff. 
push myself to use cash more often throughout the week and month. Not every single day, but every other day or um, this way is easier than having a wallet cash envelope system. I mean, this one of my blue one has uh, card slots as well. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to go to sleep here shortly. I am wearing my, my lip earplugs, my quiet twos the whole time I was reading and stayed focused on that so the medication day two has been going great i haven't had too many side effects or none at all it's weird yeah like i've had none pretty much like still slight dizziness no upset stomach no like extreme nausea i had slight nausea this morning but earlier whatever earlier it was yeah when i was in my bathroom but anyway it's so far so good i've stayed focused i almost my document of sy um, symptoms ready to go for the rheumatologist i'll go over it every day before my my appointment uh, i got my medications kind of down i think i'll flush those out too of when i kind of started each of them and all that and yeah i got another video pretty much not even done but making slow progress and obviously doing another weekly or weekend vlog so i'm excited to see what this medication does for me for the next month because i'm gonna give it a shot it's there's really no issues with it uh i know i'm i think i'm still gonna probably get a full assessment maybe from a canadian online therapy company called frida or doctor's clinic i don't know maybe because it's only like 700 dollars more than the one thousand thousand dollars plus um to see a normal psychologist to pay out of pocket uh, but other than that I'll talk to my doctor about it too and see what he where he thinks is best to get the assessment done and stuff like a full find the skills and or like to, to more better understand myself with that it's just weird that my daughter diagnosed like, technically ADHD with a medication without saying much, but he's not versed, I believe, in that subject. He just said it's hard to get diagnosed as an adult. I'm like, it's not, but that's okay. I kind of disagreed with him on that one in my head, um, but at least he looked over the sheet and was like, yeah, definitely just a quick like, yeah, talk about medications. And then I will go from more root in that general direction and i keep saying that but today was fun work was slow essentially but you have our one of our big big doors like um on the truck side is can't doesn't want to come down it worked perfectly fine for me for a while but then yeah so i'm gonna go to bed now or charge this beauty put my mask on and get ready for sleep y'all had a great Sunday.